Hello everyone, I am back and today we're doing a Swarovski holiday inspired makeup look. This is the inspo picture right here and yeah, I mean, I haven't done a makeup look for YouTube in maybe about a month or so, you know, but I'm in college, university, whatever, and so, like, I'm, I don't have time to do, like, makeup or, like, edit videos and stuff while I, I was, it was finals week. We, if you're watching this and you go to college or university, you know finals week, it's, it's over, like, your mind is in shambles, okay? There's no time to be on YouTube, no. It's time to work. This is serious business. Um, anyway. All right, and as you always know that I do this, except for the last video, because that was a video that was a little bit more on the sadder side. But, you know, we were, we were going, we are getting up throughout the last video. If you haven't watched that video, go and check it out, okay? Right before this one, my Sunday reset video that I did, okay? Two weeks ago. Go check it out. But um, yeah, I didn't do this last time, but make sure that you subscribe, okay? I'm calling everyone out right now. I'm calling Ava out, I'm calling Unique out. I'm calling, I'm calling everyone out. I'm calling Olivia out, I'm calling um, Noah out. I don't care. If you fall under endless categories, you better like and comment and subscribe and anything. If you, if you have a name, just subscribe. If you have a name, in general, I don't even care if your name is no name. Subscribe right now, okay? And maybe even hit the bell so you're notified every time I post because, come on, like, stay updated. Anyway, let's get started. As you can see, I have a new hairstyle that is not braids because I was giving Moesha the amount of times that I had braids. So I was like, I got my hair trimmed and everything at the salon. So I was like, you know what? Let's pop out and do some um, soap press because it's winter time and it's winter soap press season. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, so that is why I'm doing this right now. That's why I have this hairstyle. But isn't it looks so, like oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. You know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, anyway. Now I feel like for this look, I have to do my face first. Like eyebrows and then face. So we're gonna do that. I think I need to give skin. Like it, it's not very like heavy, nothing. So I think what I'm gonna do is, hmm, I'm wondering, should I skip ahead? Okay, if you don't want to see the skin part and you're like, you know what, I don't got time for this, you can skip ahead in the video and see the eyeshadow part. But if you guys want to know how to do dewy makeup on oily skin, because this girl has some little dewy makeup, like a little satin, I think, makeup, then stay here. I might even have like a time stamp of like where you can skip to if you just want to see the eyeshadow look. So I have my moisturizer on already. I have sunscreen on, all that. So I don't need to worry about that. But if you haven't already, then you should moisturize your skin. Even if you're not even doing the makeup look with me, just please moisturize your skin. Do you understand how cold it is outside? Unless you're in Australia, what the hell are you doing with no moisturizer? Put that moisturizer on. Put that sunscreen on. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Why am I forgetting the name? The e.l.f. Um, clear brow gel, and I'm just gluing my eyebrows down. She doesn't have anything, like I, I'm sure she has something on her eyebrow, but like, it's not even enough, like for me to be like, oh, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. Like no, my eyebrows are like, my natural eyebrows are basically, they're basically like the same color. So there's no point. What I learned about this brow gel is that you don't have to dip it in every single time you use it. You don't have to dip in this boogie every time you use it. It lasts on the brush for so long that you're good. Like you don't need to do it every time. Because if you do it every time, then your eyebrows start to look white throughout the day because 
the brow product is like almost like when you have like edge control like eco styler like you don't want to put too much because then it's gonna get crusty right so like it's it's good to have like less so yeah just keep using it for like the whole week like put some on the on the monday or whatever whenever you use it and then just keep the spoolie and just keep using it because it also it also helps to save the product because you don't use it as much so for doing makeup for oily skin what i like to do is use two different primers so that i can get the balance right so i'm gonna use the pure four in one correcting primer and i'm gonna use that here on my face this freaking gargantuan pimple that's coming it's appearing on my face right before christmas negative energy i don't like that but anyway um and just here like here and like on the edges whatever actually not two primers i like to use three because this <laughs> i forgot but i have like a certain way that i do it so that my skin doesn't feel like it's melting off of my face every time that i go outside or when i have like makeup on whatever um so i'm gonna use the elf niacinamide primer also on top because i feel like okay that primer is good but it doesn't help the makeup stick it just makes the skin look better underneath the makeup but it doesn't help the makeup stick and the good part about having like a sticky one like like the elf power grip primer is that it like when you have dewy skin but you have oily skin it, it feels like it's gonna slide off of your face but if you have it with the grit primer then it sticks so then the dew is stuck to your face right and it feels sticky on your face but it helps the makeup stick to your face if you know what i mean like i'm like i don't know okay anyway and i'm gonna use the mac studio fix primer the mattifying 12 hour primer and i put it underneath my eyes above my lip on my chin and then my forehead this keeps my skin matte where i want it to be well, i put a lot on that side man. so the center of my face the center of my forehead my nose my nose got so oily I have no idea what makeup look I'm gonna do for Christmas. Probably nothing crazy because I don't feel like it. Maybe like a red lip, but my like traditional red lip that I always like to do. I'll put it right here. If you wanna see what makeup look I actually do, don't forget to follow my Instagram as well because that's how you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing. I feel like that'd be the best way, right? Cause you can see my pictures, you know? Um, it would be fun. You could see everything that I post, you know. So you're always in the loop. Like even if I don't post on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna leave y'all behind. It's just like YouTube is like editing. Alright, so next I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow just on my cheeks, nowhere else. Because if I use it anywhere else, my makeup's sliding off my face. It's it's just not gonna work out. So um yeah just here on the side of my face and it has a little bit of coverage in it too well not even a little bit a lot of bit of coverage so it does help and it also just adds that extra glow too then when i'm doing looks like this where it's not like like a lot of coverage or major coverage or anything i like to use the pro conceal la girl pro conceal and this is in chestnut. It's in chestnut. I feel like all my <laughs> I have so many chestnut concealers and stuff. Like it's crazy. So I just like to put it. I just like to put it like where I need it. Like certain spots, certain areas. You know what I have stuck in my head right now? I have that thing that Drake's been saying that I need a max win. I can't, 
like I, it's just like replaying in my head like i'm trying to do the video and it's like I, that's all i can hear I, I can't hear anything else it's just i need a max move like <laughs> i'm going crazy please oh, i need the max move I don't even know where that video is from. Like, I, I know like it's an interview or whatever. I don't know even if it's an interview, but like it's like a video of him. I don't know, but I don't know what it's for. I didn't put any underneath my eye, so let me do that. Can I just say I love the model's complexion in this ad? Like this Swarovski ad is so beautiful. I actually saw it in. Okay, I have Vogue magazine because I'm kind of like collecting them now. I started in November, but um, I'm trying to see maybe if I got it from here. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. I got it from Vogue magazine actually. I, this is where I first saw it and I was like, I need to do this look. But, um, do you see it? Yeah, it's right there. Gorgeous. Her skin is beautiful. I'm going to use the KVD, um, full coverage concealer it's in deep or deep 183 and I'm gonna use it this is darker than my skin tone so I'm gonna use it as bronzer and I'm just gonna blend it out with the beauty blender and my skin probably looks a little bit oily right now but it's okay I'm just gonna cover my eyes as well with the concealer. Okay. I'm just gonna lightly carve out my eyebrows with the brush from the LA Girl Concealer. Also, do you guys have any New Year's plans? Because I, I, I mean, I do the same thing every year. <laughs> Spend time with my family again. Um, but uh you guys have any exciting new year's plans i like i feel like new year's i wonder like what it's like to celebrate new year's in like a club or like like an actual like party party i have you i used to go to new year's parties with my like family friends especially my family at this point um when i was a kid but like now i just spend time with like my immediate family for the most part um but i wonder what it's like because i'm also like 20 years old so i'm thinking like what do you what is it like what do the 20 year olds go out and do like <laughs> i sound like a grandma but um i just question it because i i always spend time with my family for new year's always like always so to set my face i'm going to use I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NC, N, NC, NW45. And I'm, doing a, I'm using a triangle uh, powder puff because it helps it go directly in the areas that I want it to. Okay. For blush, I'm going to use the Nude Sticks Deep Maple, Deep Maple A um, blush, cream blush, stick blush, whatever, on my cheeks. Kinda still brings the glow back after all of that powder, like, I know a lot of powder, but like, you know, sometimes if you put it here, it like ends up here. It just helps to bring it back. Yes, you back, 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 back. Let me see, like, what kind of blush did she have on? Yeah, it was like pink, whatever. We have a different complexion, so I can't exactly copy like the skin, but I can do it to like the best of my abilities and whatever matches me, because that's this is my complexion. <laughs> then I'm gonna use the Nude Sticks Cream Highlighter in Hey Honey. It's like a gold, like a colder gold. We're putting it on the sides, high points of my cheek, here, on my nose, here. My skin is looking good. My skin is looking good. My skin is looking good. The 
people that may have skipped to this side of the video, this part of the video for the eyes, we are here now. Congrats. Hello, welcome. Um, let's start on to these eyes. Okay, this is going to be one of those like angular kind of looks. So we need green and vibes. This palette is broken. The, the, the top part is broken. This is the Morphe 35B palette. But I'm going to use the dark green in the palette right here. Because just because the lid is broken doesn't mean that the palette's over. It hasn't hit pan fully for every color. No, it hasn't, babe. So, I guess I'll be honest with her. I'm just going to use a flat brush to apply it. What makes it easier actually is to raise your eyebrow so you can see the full flat part of your eye, like the, the whole part of your eyelid just flat. So if you raise your eyebrow, you can see where to put that crease. All right, let's do the same thing, but on the other eye. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And I look absolutely insane right now. Um, but that is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Now we're going to get on to the sparkle part because that's the next part. Okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the side for the dark green. So I'm going to use this green from the Juvia's Place Afrique palette. I'm going to use this brush instead, this angled brush, because it just helps form the sharp part. I wish they were more. I wish they were more sparkly greens. Like, I don't have a lot of glittery greens. They don't make those, do they? Maybe I'm just missing out. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. But I don't have any sparkly ones. Okay, what I'm going to do though, because even though this looks white, it's from the Juvia's Place uh, Artistry palette. Even though this looks like it's a white, it's actually like this green reflective thing. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to mix it with the dark green that I put originally on the base of my eye. Just so that I have that same color scheme. I made it like a little bit more sparkly. If you don't have the exact colors, you can always make it work. I'm telling you, you can always make it work. Mix up the colors, you know. When you have a freaking, when you have paints and stuff, do you think you just settle with the blue, with the blue, yellow, and, and freaking red? No, you mix the colors together. Like, what the heck? Now I'm just kind of going over that green with the regular white um, sparkle part. I made it kind of green by accident, but whatever. I kind of have to rub it into the eye because it helps the product just disperse better. I don't know. Make sure it's very, very, very sporty. It's very bougie. Just make, make, make sure that you're seeing the glitter on my eyelid when I tell you that it is there. Because I'm not playing around. Now, for the inner green. Okay, I'm gonna use some of this liquid eyelet. This liquid eyeshadow that I got from Amazon. The brand is not even on it. Like, I don't even know what it is. Oh, hold. Guys, am I gonna eat this up? I'm gonna eat this up. Okay, let me calm down. Something's up with this specific color, though. Like, I don't know why it's dry. Like, I don't know. It's weird. But it's been working. Look at this freaking sparkle. This is, like, I probably look crazy. Like, freaking insane but look at the sparkle on this like, like this this is from amazon guys i got four of these i told people about this before. but anyway i got like four of these um these like duo things but it's like different colors so good what i said was so good but like that one was like dry for some reason but it, it still worked out like you see how beautiful that is it's gorgeous there's a darker green happening like right here so I want to copy that, I'll be. I'm trying to see what colors I have so I can copy it. 
I think I want, what I'm gonna do is mix this color with the dark green, but also some black. Just a touch of black, nothing crazy, nothing crazy at all. Just right here. I actually really love this. Like, I don't know, this is so pretty. <laughs> Now I'm gonna use some gel liner and I always use the same one all the time because it's the best one in the it's the best one in the entire freaking world. Okay. The Shades by Shan gel eyeliner is a bomb. And if you haven't gotten it already, what the hell are you doing? Girly pop. It's the it's a lip liner to me. It's a lip liner, it's an eyeliner, it's everything. Putting it a thin line on on the top. Step, I am going to be using this Kajal pencil and it is green, it's a dark green. Right here. This is actually a really good one. I have I haven't used it in a while, but I really did like this one as well. And we're putting it on the bottom to match to go upwards. be like sharpened or something because it's so good. <gasps> all right never mind <laughs> i ended up breaking it instead um like that and then we do another one it's okay but it's a little bit um janky because we can fix it after it's okay no I'm just gonna fix it up with the LA Girl concealer. I think I'm gonna use some of this black grayish um, liquid sparkle for the bottom. Okay. I got real silent there because I was very, I was mad focused. Now I have to do the gem part. I'm gonna probably fast forward this so you're not watching every living, breathing gem that's on, not living, breathing, um, every inanimate object um, that is on my face, okay? So please, right in, yeah. I'm gonna use the light green for the inner part and then the dark green gems for the outer part. Also going just all along the the wing okay this is it halfway halfway just half on one eye actually not halfway one eye I really like this a lot. I would never think that I would like how this looks. This is, I, I love it on me. I really do. But I'm gonna finish the other eye off camera. But this is one eye. All right, I'm done. Both sides. I feel very, very, very pretty. I don't think she's wearing any mascara. She literally is not wearing anything because like the eyes are so bold. Like you might just put like one coat, two coats, whatever, I'm not scared, but nothing crazy. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to um curl them or anything. This is the nude by nature mascara by the way. Looks like this. I feel like this looks so pretty. I don't know, like I'm also gonna put some of that Shade by Shan eyeliner in my waterline as well. I would've never, when I tell you never thought this would actually look good on me, like, this is like crazy. 
Okay, I'll put a little bit of green. It just swept right there. This did not take as long as I thought it would. Her eyeliner is like damn near at her freaking hairline. I think it is at her hairline. Like, it's far back. So I made mine far back. This is this is so pretty. I'm so I love it. I'm I, it may look crazy on camera, like very crazy on camera, but I love it. I'm gonna do a light um, mid of mascara also on the bottom just so that it just works together. Okay, guys. Oh my god, we're almost done. Okay, I'm gonna put some highlighter. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my face and then on my on my brow bone too. Now I'm going to do the lips. I just have gloss on my lips right now, so I'm gonna wipe it off. Lips. Hmm. It seems like a very brown lip. A very, very brown. Instead of using chestnut as the lip liner, I'm actually gonna use, I'm gonna use Double Fudge by MAC. My lips together just to like blend it in a little bit more. And I'm gonna put Hug Me by MAC on the center. I want to make sure there's more brown on the top because on hers, there's more brown at the top. Then I'm going to use Fenty Heat in ch hot chocolate over everything. Oh my god, wait, are we done already? Okay, so I'm going to come back with the finished beat because I guess we're done. Like, what the heck? Put my hair back because there's a lot going on my face already. So I feel like I have the big earrings, the green ones as well. Um, these are such, this is so beautiful. The earrings are so beautiful. Anyway, um, so I put my hair back because I don't need all of that, you know? I didn't slick it back or anything. I just put in a ponytail, whatever, basic, basic ponytail. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the finished look. Recreating the Swarovski Christmas makeup look that's been advertised. I had so much fun creating this look. It's actually so much easier than I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie. And it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I really like it. Like maybe it looks different on camera than it does in person, but I really like how it looks on, on in person. It's so, it's so nice. You should honestly try this look if you want to do. I think this is like a good look. I don't know. I don't know what for. Anytime we have to do creative looks, we have to look nice, you know? But like, you still want to look, you want to be creative, but also want to look kind of like, I guess, sexy in a way. Like, it's, it's beautiful. And the earrings put everything, put it all together to me. Like, this is like so nice. The green matches like perfectly. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As I said before, you're missing out. What are you doing? Press notification bell too, because you don't want to miss when I upload. What? Like, come on, what the heck? Um, yeah, and like the video and comment if you have any extra looks that you want me to do. Um, if you have any comments at all, I don't, I don't like just, just I don't really care. Comment anything, like whatever. Um, and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They're all just journey nvh for everything. So, and that's it, guys. Bye.